all the feeds comes from offshore, uh, from NFP, and NFP is the main gas supplier for our onshore facility. Northfield is a big complex. It consists of remote platform as well as manned platform. Those platforms are the heart of our facility. I mean, these are the facility where we are getting all the gas from. And those gas get transported to, to onshore facility through a pipeline. And once it gets to onshore, it gets treated and liquefied and sent to a storage tank. And this is the whole scheme of our, our facility. We work as, as, as a one team. Uh, one team towards a common goal and common objectives. And I think if you look at the, at the uh, rig move operation, it's a very challenging operation. You need to minimize uh, any impact to customer. And I think this is, this is the, the, the goal. At the same time, you, you extremely focus on safety. The planning part of it was the biggest part. It involved a lot of uh, people, a lot of area, onshore uh, operation, offshore operation, of course, a reservoir production department. Uh, engineering, venture, uh, commercial and shipping, uh, uh, all of this department um, you know, had to be consulted with, coordinated uh, with. There's two parts to this operation. First, first of all, the rig has to move from its location where it was. Uh, from a safety point of view, important that we actually shut the production down and depressurize all of the top sides of the platform that's sitting above. The next step is that we now need to move it in to the next uh, wellhead platform and to do that we need good weather conditions it has to be precise it has to come in to a preset position so the rig will come in we shut down once again so that when it does come in if anything untoward were to happen there's no gas going to be released if anything happens it won't happen but we take that uh, precaution if there's any swell, they'll cancel the operation. So they'll be looking for a kind weather window. This time we had to wait about nine days to find a good weather window. Otherwise it would have been very unsafe to approach a platform when the tugboats would not be able to control the rig. Today we had our first attempt to approach the platform but at the last minute the weather was not kind to us and we had to call off the rig move. In the early morning or during night the weather is not good for approaching but if we lose this opportunity maybe it requires another 10 days standby until for that. With some luck tomorrow, it will be a good weather. I'm confident I have uh, uh, very good teams and experience with a long time they're working here about that. I am sure they can manage as per the procedure and policy and procedure and without any problem. Also, we did this one, this activity before many times and we drill another maybe four wells before and it's everything going smooth without any problems. Harley, can you put all the wells in the well at one? Please come back, Harley. Okay. Yeah, okay, copied. This is the last block on the control one. Yes, control. Yeah, stand by, yes. We are in the flaring now. I watch the rig condition on the waters. It's, I think they can approach without any problems. With some luck, we need some luck sometimes. The most crucial part of this rig move is when the rig is close to the platform, about 20, 30 feet close before the standoff. That's when we move very close, slowly, keeping the heading straight. 
and when we reach the final position, the stand-up is correct, the heading is correct, that's when the legs are put to the seabed. Then the preloading start. The preloading is when we put weight, pump in water into the hull, and the weight sinks the leg so that the legs find the hard bottom. And then the hull is raised up, which is called jacking up. And the jacking up is finished when we reach the plan height, which is 62 feet in this case, which is a working height above the uh, mean sea level. This is a great achievement. Uh, finally, uh, the rig uh, is in place. This is a, a, a big milestone for us. Qatar Gas is looking for safety first. We need to make this one safe and everybody going home safely. If we delay a little bit, pay extra money, no issue, except we'll be safe. And this one, our aim in Qatar Gas. We can start relaxing now. To come and move the rig during November time, that's by itself, it's a it's very considerable you know, challenge because you, know, you cannot do anything about the weather. I feel very proud to be part of this team. Uh, who has accomplished such a very, very, very di difficult operation.